my um, Energizer power bank packed up. Uh, it happened after 10 months of use. Um, it performed really well up until my last charge. I think I made a mistake of wanting to charge two devices at the same time. And uh, after that, it stopped working. It seemed uh, that the battery was unable to recharge from that point onwards. So all in all, I had uh, 10 months of good use of the power bank. It was um, not a constant use, so some weeks I wouldn't use it at all, and some others I will be probably using it every day. So uh, I would say that overall it was um, a good power bank. I was uh, fairly satisfied with it. Portable, very lightweight, and I really uh, liked uh, that fact. Uh, so after that, I went to buy a different power bank. Uh, this is called uh, Gu Bay. Um, what I did was I charged it fully once, and it took twelve hours to charge completely. And after that, uh, I've only charged my mobile when it was at fifty percent. So to get from 50% to 100%, it took an hour. So I'm estimating that uh, it will take two hours to, um, to charge completely. Now there's an on and on switch, and then you have the battery indicator on the other side. So this is after a couple of charges, and uh, it's still showing at four uh, LED lights, so each light is 25%. So my guess is that we are at 80% and then shortly it will come down to three lights. So um, I would say that probably this will charge a phone five times. That would be my estimate. So what I'll do, I'll uh, use it a bit more and then come back and uh, do a more in-depth review of had my Goo Bay power bank for about three weeks now and uh, I can go more into detail about the um, features. So I will compare the two power banks, the one that I had before and the one that I have now. So this is the old Energizer and this is the Goo Bay. So you can see they're quite similar, however the Energizer was uh, thinner and taller. Um, but the weight is much different, so this is uh, the new one is much heavier. Um, however, the um, the power is also higher. It's fifteen thousand ampere compared to ten thousand. So, uh, in terms of charging, like a full charge for the um, Pixel would be uh, two hours from zero to a hundred percent battery. Um, also, for comparison, this is my old iPhone compared to the Goo Bay power bank. So as you can see in terms of dimensions it's still quite small and very portable. It's just the weight that it's, um, I wouldn't say an issue, but it is heavier than the previous uh, power bank that I had. In terms of weight, uh, Energizer is 240 grams whereas Goo Bay is 330 grams. In conclusion, I would say that the Goobay power bank is a good quality uh, charger. It's still very portable and I think it's very useful if you're traveling a lot.